Greetings to my viewers all over the world. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you're tuning in from. This is the House of Paula cooking show with me, Chef Paula. And before we go further, I'd like us to start with a word of prayer. So let us believe and pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you for yet another opportunity you've given unto us. We do not take it for granted, Adonai. Thank you for yet another chance, Father God, that you're going to be revealed through my skill and to the nations together with the people of the world. Thank you, Jehovah Lord, for who you are. This day and this moment, Father God, I invite you into this kitchen. I pray that your Holy Spirit will be my guidance, will guide me. The utterances of my tongue will only come from above. I bless you even for my viewer back at home, my God. Let them receive whatever you have for each and every one of them this day. We bless you, we honor you. Begin with us, God in heaven, and end with us. We bless your holy name, we honor you. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. As you can see, today my, my, my kitchen is very busy, as you can see. <laughs> for some reason, I woke up craving for some pizza, yeah. And so I decided I'm not going to do it uh, behind the scene, but I'm going to come on board and do it for all of us to see, maybe for those who like to learn how to make some pizza at home. So these are homemade pizza. And as you can see, I've got so much uh, ingredients here with me. It's because I love my pizza with so much flavors and a whole lot of toppings. So for my toppings, as you can see, I have, um, I have chicken. Yes, chicken. I have mushroom. These are the white button mushrooms. You can use any according to your flavors, whichever you like. Then I have my, my cheese, mozzarella, of course, for the pizza. I have bacon here. Yes, yes. Um, it's beef bacon. Then I have my red onion, garlic. I have uh, some vegetables and some... Now, this is the next part now for the sauce because we're making our pizza from scratch, remember? It has to have a dough, which is right here. Already I've started with uh, my combination, which is the all-purpose flour, yeast, sugar, salt, olive oil, and water. It's all in there. So now for my sauce... I have some sugar, I have some tomato paste, tomato puree, I have some basil, fresh ones, yeah? I have olive oil, and I have a chicken stock powder and black pepper. So, I also have some spices here. I have some oregano that is dry and some thyme. So, guys, let's not waste much time. So, we are, start, we are starting with our dough first. We are going to be mixing our dough. I have a mixer. If you don't want, have one, don't feel pressured. You can always use your hands back at home. But uh, because um, I'm in the studio, you know, I have to work on time. So first I had to mix everything because of splashing the flour out of the bowl. But now it all goes back to the, to the mixer now. As it mix, I'll be doing something else, and that is getting ready my mushrooms and the chicken. They are the only things that I've not sliced. So, as we wait for the knee, for the kneading of the dough, my mixer is on number two. First, I start on a lower whip, then I'll I'll do a a, a, a speed one later on. So. As we do that, now we are going to start with our, with our chopping. That is for the chicken and for the mushroom. In this case, I'm using one chopping board. Because of salmonella, I'm going to start with my mushroom first. So first of all, I'm going to clean them. I'm going to clean my mushroom. By cleaning, I'm going to take out, to take out the, the inner part, this thing. So this white button, but if you like any other mushroom, you can use it. Feel free to use the mushroom of your flavor. Just make sure it's, uh, it's, it's safe for you to eat. You know, there are so many poisonous mushrooms out there. So you should be aware of which you're taking. It's just not any mushroom that is right for you to eat. So as I said, I, I woke up again craving for pizza, yes, and I decided to do something for myself. So apparently this is what I decided to do. 
and I want my pizza with a lot of toppings and flavors. Of course, I'm a chef, I have to, I'm allowed to do some experiments, right? Yeah, so mine, as you can see, it has a lot and a lot of, um, of flavor. So guys, something else about the mushrooms, if you're not cooking them instantly, please don't clean them using water. Don't clean them using water. You can clean them with a paper towel, this one. But now, because me, I'm cooking mine right now. I'm taking this out. Because I'm cooking mine right away, I'm going to use water. But if you, you know you'll be waiting for some time, you can use a paper towel to avoid the color changing. There you go, make sure it's well clean. Mm -hmm. There we go. And now we are going to start with slicing as we check on our dough. Don't forget. Don't forget to check on your dough. Sorry, all oh, that came out. It's okay. Uh -huh. It looks nice, so I'm going to take it to three for a little bit. Yeah. Then I'm going to start with slicing of my mushroom. Remember, it's a pizza topping, so you can have any cut of your choice. There's no like a specific cut you want to put, but if you you prefer a specific one, you can always use a specific one. Again, be careful with mushrooms, guys. Not all mushrooms are edible and not all mushrooms are safe for you. Don't go plucking. You know, I know, I know in my country we have so many growing even on the roadside, please. Be sure that the mushroom you're eating are safe to eat because most, most of them are poisonous. Okay, so we take it back there to one now. You give it some time there. You see, the good thing about the mixer is that uh, you can get to do some other things as you're kneading your dough, right? So yeah, I was saying about the mushrooms, please be careful. Don't go plucking any in your compounder huh? without the knowledge first. Acquire knowledge. There's an episode we are speaking about understanding and knowledge. I, 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 I'm, I'm tempted to bring it back, because, but because that's not the word of the day, uh, it's wisdom. You just know that uh, not all mushrooms uh, are safe to eat. And see, I have lots of them. My pizza is not that huge, but um, man, I love a well-topped pizza with a, with a lot of flavors. I cannot get that at all those pizza sauce, so I prefer making mine at home. Because then I, can, I can, can get to experiment a lot of flavors in it. So... I make it, yes, after all, I'm a chef. So guys, don't forget, this is the House of Paula with me, Chef Paula. If you're joining us right now, we've just begun. We are making a pizza with a whole lot of toppings. It has mushroom, it has vegetables, it has uh, bacon, beef bacon, and some chicken. And now we are doing the mushroom. So we are going to to be making a pizza that uh, I need to dry the water from the bowl first before I transfer my mushrooms in back there. So my mushroom, it's a white button mushroom. You can use any flavor. It's not a, it's not a specific flavor for you. Mine is what I decided to use for today's show. There you have my mushroom. It's quite a lot, so I might not be using all of it today. But indeed, I'm going to have my 
my pizza all full of flavor. So I'm going to rinse my chopping board. I have one. It's allowed. It's allowed because I'm cleaning it. It's allowed. <laughs> yeah, so right. There you go. Dry the knife too. And now we are going to come in with the part for the chicken. But before that, let's now check on our dough. Yes, there it is. There is our dough. Let me use the other one I had used earlier. So I'm taking it all out, feeling the texture and everything. And it already smells cooked. The, you can feel the yeast, you can smell the yeast all the way. So right now I'm going to take that out. And uh, a little bit of olive oil. I'm using olive oil today, not vegetable oil. And using my hands. I'm going to knead the dough again just a little bit, just to give it a shape for a minute. Mm-hmm, like that. And I'm going to have it resting for some minute as I come to check on it. So there, as we finish up with our topping. So now we are doing our chicken, right? We're already done with the uh, mushrooms. So guys, don't forget, chicken, you're supposed to handle it with care. Be careful of the surfaces, touching the surface. Touching the chicken because of its bacteria, right? So right now, as you can see, my chicken is boneless. This is actually a breast, chicken breast, but um, you can always have any part, but make sure it's boneless. It's for the pizza, right? Okay, so we're going to slice our chicken to nice little cubes or so. Just to make sure that um, you're going to, you know, to have it sprinkled all over the pizza. So this is the House of Paula with me, Chef Paula. We are on YouTube as House of Paula. Facebook, House of Paula. Instagram, House of Paula. And on TikTok as House of Paula. Follow us, subscribe, leave a comment, tell us about the show, where you're watching us from. And also, of course, on Spirit TV, we are on all social media platforms as Spirit TV. Kenya. So guys, please leave a comment, subscribe, like, you know, tell us how far you're watching us from and uh, what you're learning from the show or something maybe you like to bring on board for us, you know, to check on. Just feel free. You're welcome to leave a comment there and subscribe, share for this knowledge to to reach many people also. So as you can see, as I said earlier, we're making a pizza. These are part of our toppings. We had not uh, done this because I needed you to see what I'm doing. So I had not pre prepared this. But uh, we are almost done, almost done with the chopping. I can, I can, promise you that as you've seen my dough it's not that big but my toppings <laughs> are, are gig gigantic they are quite a lot you know but um it's good it's good the more the flavor the more the moist and the more the fun the chicken of course and the mushroom and everything so this is our chicken it's a chicken breast you can do even you can debone a leg by the way and get it's not a must you have a chicken breast you can debone a, a, a leg and use the meat let's take one yeah for the pizza so there we go chicken done going to rinse this for a minute the plate and put it back in So 
So in this case, I'll be using the survey because I, I'm, I'm going to be using my napkin later on, so I don't want to contaminate it with the chicken. Yeah, so here we go. Sorry. Our chicken is ready. Our mushrooms are ready and our dough is ready. So right now, the only thing remaining is the sauce and setting up the pizza. So guys, we are going to be, I'm going to show you how to make, to prepare the pizza. But before we get to that, we're going first to finish up with the dough because we want the dough to set already on the tray or the pan. So I know most of us, we are used to the white one. No, not really the white, the, the round one. But today I'm not going, use, going to be using the, the round tray. I'm going to be using the, the other uh, oven tray, this one. Because of the size of my toppings, I want to make sure that I'm able to take out the pizza from, uh, from the tray without struggling. So before we go to that, we're going to start first because we need this dough to set in our tray. And uh, we are going to begin with our dough. So put it on the surface. Make sure your surface is clean first. Uh -huh. You're going to need some extra flour. There you go. So that this is how I'm going to be kneading my dough for the pizza. So there you go. Mm -hmm. It smells the yeast. You can smell the yeast already. It's already coming out and um, it's amazing. It's going to be amazing, amazing. So it's a one roll for me. Yeah, but if you had, uh, if you had quite a lot of it, maybe you might choose more than, more than one, but um, so my surface is a little bit smaller. I'm going to need to push some of these ingredients there just to create space for my pizza. So, ladies and gentlemen, also so that my cameraman is able to see, we are going to start now with preparing our dough. So, it's just the normal way you use to roll it. I want for my my dough to set on the tray, yeah? So I'm going to leave it on the tray for some time right now as I wait for it to set, so. Can you see? not take much time but still you need to stretch it all the way because you don't need it to be too fat that's why actually sorry to say but uh, most of the time I'm discouraged to get pizza for myself because you find uh, the bread is too thick it's too thick and the toppings there's nothing there actually and it's so dry so I'm discouraged most of the time to, to get pizza from outside. But now, since I have the knowledge, I can also, this is my secret. Sorry to all pizza houses, but um, you know, if you have the knowledge, you can always use yours at home, so. There we go, try to stretch it as much as possible. 
Thank you. Welcome back to the House of Paula with me, Chef Paula, of course. And uh, today we were making pizza, and before we went for that short break, we were making our dough. So right now I'm going to be transferring my dough into my tray, but before that I'm going to need to dust in some flour first so that uh, your pizza will not uh, get old, uh, old on onto the tray. So I'm going to do much of that. And as you know, with the cakes and everything, you, you dust it, then maybe you, you shade off the, the flour, excess one, but in pizza, we are not going to be shading it out. So we are going to be leaving our tray like that and just in a few moments, going to fold our dough. As you can see it, there you go. Fold it a little like that, all together here. Put aside, get your tray on there and start from all the way up, bringing it down. That way it's simpler for you to lift it. You don't need to, to carry it all the way up. So as you can see, our dough is here. So now this is the part that you, you become creative with your hands. Yeah, you push it to fit to all the corners here, this side. So this side looks a bit, uh, uh, yes, so that it fits all the way. So I'm not going to, uh, mine I'm not using the round uh, tray. It's not that there's anything wrong with it, but it's because of my toppings. They are quite a lot. So I'll, I'll stick to this one. You can see it's there set by now it's ready then using a fork i'm going to poke it i'm going to poke all over it huh? to make sure when it's cooking there's that crust that it's a bit crunchy Repeat the process until it's all over. Make sure that uh, every place has the oats kindly. So if you're joining us right now, we are making a pizza. We have started with our dough and uh, we are going to have it setting on a tray before we add in our toppings. So right now we had rolled it before we went for the break. And now it's about time we poke it and leave it to rest. So you, it's not like there's any particular form that you need to do it. You just need the oils in it. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's, it's, it's quite a huge pizza, you know, with a whole lot of toppings. It's not your no more type of pizza that's why i'm saying at home you are always uh, free to do as you wish you're the boss of your kitchen so if you like something some toppings in your pizza you can always go in as much as you want but just make sure you're using the right ingredients a safe one to eat also if you're using mushroom i'm repeating that because i know in kenya we have a lot of them growing even on the road so please don't just uh, go in there and pluck and say that in House of Polar we saw people making mushrooms. Please be cautious of that. Make sure it's edible, it's not poisonous because we have lots and lots of them that are poisonous actually. So it looks good, it looks good, it looks good. And there I'm going to leave it to rest. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover it with a cling film. I don't want a coat on it, so I'm going to, to cover with the cling film. This time, um, it's not tighter, remember, I don't want a... Uh, my dough like to to be increased or something. I just want it to rest and uh, stay.
start the preparation of uh, what? The yeast breaking down. So it's not tight, it's a bit loose. Just don't want uh, it to be left exposed right there. And this one, we're going to, to proof it and room temperature. We are not going to be taking out it out to the sun. But if you're in a hurry, actually, you can rush it to the sun lake for, for three, four minutes, then bring it back in. But now, because I'm still making my sauce for the pizza, we can prove this at room temperature here, so it's fine. Okay. And there we go. So right now, I'm going to leave this here. Actually, I thought I'm going to need this surface, but I don't think I'll be needing it for now. So we leave it there. And we start now with the cleaning of this place. We need it clean. And on to our next step. On to our next step is the sauce here, yes? The fun part, the flavor part, and the amazing part of the show. So right now, I don't think I'm going to be needing this. So I'm going to take it out a moment. I'll take it out of here so that you can see what I'm making in the kitchen. So now... So whoever created this thing was thinking about safety. I'm not marketing for them, but um, do I see? So this one, I can leave it at this side because I'm not using it for now. It's okay if it stays there so that you're able to see what I'm doing. So right now, let's start with our sauce first. So the chicken goes there. Let's stay there. So... That with the power on. Mm -hmm. The heat is on now and we eat up the pan. So as I had said, we have fresh basil, guys. Basil, yes. You know, they have uh, such a weird smell. I know most of us have come across these, <laughs> these leaves somewhere around the bush, but it's not the same leaf. Actually, I had a conversation with uh, one of the directors in this studio today and they thought that uh, it's the leaves that you pluck behind your your toilet no they are not the ones so be one be one uh, and be informed but the, actually the smell is quite the same but uh, this one is an herb so it's fresh the flavor is amazing it's lovely and uh, it's a uh, plays a very big key i mean um, it's a very key ingredient when making the sauce for the pizza. So, we're going to be generous with our sauce, of course. Very, very generous. Okay, let me use this one. So, first goes in the olive oil. Guys, olive oil. Olive oil. Because of the, the flavor too. So, there you go. Put three spoonful of it. Hmm, smells amazing already. Yeah, so I'm going to be now it's already heating up and it's already hot. So I go in, let me start with my garlic first, just a little bit of it. I crushed quite a lot of it, but I'm going to, to go in with a little bit. Not that much of garlic. Hmm, amazing. In goes our oregano and thyme. Remember, we are making a pizza sauce. Wow, combination is amazing. If you're here already, you can smell like you're walking just up at a pizza shop somewhere. You're going to go in with onion. This is a red onion. It's crushed, guys. It's crushed. 
and sweat for a little bit, quite a little bit. Hmm, that's amazing, amazing. I'm going to add a little bit of it. Why not? Why not? If you can get so much flavor, why not? Why not go in with everything, but don't overdo. <laughs> okay. So we need to set this on, and because I added a little bit of oil, I'm going to set also a little bit of olive oil for the onions that I just added in right now. It's not oily, guys. The flavor is amazing. Oh my god, it smells so nice. Yes, yeah, so nice, so nice. So, tomato paste goes in first. Tomato paste. There you go. You're going to be cooking that for some few, two minutes. Just to make sure that uh, it incorporates all the spices in it and it's blended. So that when you're, you're eating, the sauce will not fill the taste of the paste. You know, that's the mistake most of us do. Anytime we add tomato paste into our meals, we don't cook it first. We always add it on the top. Actually, we're supposed to cook it first. So the color is um, it's looking great, it's amazing. And while on that, we are going to add in just a little bit of, sorry, just a little bit of a chicken stock powder there and some black pepper. So the chicken stock is salty on its own. That's why I said you add a little bit because remember the tomato paste kind of tastes are fermented and you don't want it to be overdone. But don't forget guys, don't forget one amazing ingredient that we have. And I know I'm going to be showing you a magic today. Really, it's not a magic. It's a necessity for the sauce. So this is sugar. Yes, sugar. To break down the fermentation and the bitterness of to the acidity in it. So there you go, sugar. And now, without wasting time, let's now go in with... Now, as you can see, even the tomato paste has changed the, the color, right? So now, that is tomato puree, or blended tomatoes. So guys, this is a pizza sauce. Smells amazing, amazing, amazing. going to need a little bit of salt, just a little bit. So, um, there's an accident that happened there that I did not even look at it. So I'm going to be taking that out. So as it's cooking, we're going to take our flame to low. Just a little bit low to simmer it. Huh? We don't want to waste all the flavors. So there you go, guys. Again, this is the house of Paula with me, Chef Paula. This is the most amazing show you'll get today on the on your TV station. That is Spirit TV. We are always on uh, every Sunday. It's from eight. PM EAT. Kindly, you can also rewatch us on uh, Monday. That is at 4 PM EAT. So, guys, stay glued on your TV until you see this channel and also this program coming your way. So, follow us on our YouTube page. That is the House of Polar. Facebook, House of Polar. TikTok, House of Polar. Instagram, House of Polar. Of course, Spirit TV, all over. 
on Facebook Spirit TV, YouTube Spirit TV, Instagram Spirit TV. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment and invite your friend to also watch. Let us know where you're watching us from. Let us know your views and let us know if you like to be invited. Yes, you had me right. Invited and or rather, why should I invite you to be one of my guests who will get to test my meal at the end of the show. So leave a comment. You can inbox us. We'll get back to you and give you the direction and information and when to come for the recording. So stay tuned. As you're aware, we're making pizza. Yes. Right now we are done with our dough. It's, it's there. It's setting. And uh, you're about to do something that is um, so interesting to me. I, I love flavors. That's why you see my, my kitchen table so 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 full today but uh, at the end of the day the results will be amazing so here we give it some time so in case you needed to add some water maybe you can do some chicken stock if you're doing chicken if you're doing beef you can do some beef stock but for me i did the chicken stock powder because i didn't want to add any water in it so for now you just give it some time uh, it's simmers and for ingredients if you're joining us for now okay of course we have our toppings we are done with the sauce now the only thing remaining is our basil that we're going to be adding in a little bit so right now i'm taking all that out so for the toppings guys yeah toppings we have the mushroom the white button you can use any provided you know what you're doing, please. Then we have chicken, boneless chicken. I'm using a chicken breast. You can debone a leg, provided it's boneless. You can use any part of the chicken as long as it's boneless. Then I have beef bacon, right? Then I have cheese. Oh my God, it's a lot of it because I love my pizza with some extra cheese and I love it moist and flavorful. So. We also have some vegetables. So these are the green bell pepper. The hoho. -ho. We have them here. So we are done with the, the sauce part. And in that, we are going to be adding in our basil, of course. So we need to, to slice these tiny flavor guys and add them into the sauce. They, they bring out the, uh, the best taste and flavor when it comes to the dough because the sauce goes next after. After the dough, the sauce is next. So, guys, I'm going to leave that there. So, and the same time, you're checking on our sauce. I don't want it so watery, so guys, I'm not going to be adding water. I already added some chicken. What? I added some chicken powder in it, the chicken stock powder. So I'm going again to, to rinse my chopping board. I need to chop my bases. Then on. To try it first. So I'm using the upper side. The lower side is the one I used to chop the the chicken. So I I switch the sides. So now I'm going to do this chopping for these ones. And by the the more the drier the 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 the, the tomatoes are, the more flavorful the sauce is because that shows that you've taken out all the water in it the water I need. So my basil are cleaned. Make sure their ears are too. So we're going to chop them into tiny pieces. Oh, they are, they are strong. The flavor is quite strong. It's kind of minty like, not mint like, you know. So make sure you You get the right ingredient out there. 
I'm going to repeat this process because I want them fine, finely chopped. Finely chopped. Because they are going in now the sauce as we take it out. As we take the sauce out, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. It's kind of messy, but it's okay. Still the flavor. So it all goes in there in the pan. Okay, so I will open up using you again. Need to use here. So as you can see, my sauce is quite dry, just the way I want it. I don't want it watery. Yeah? And it looks amazing. It's enough for for a, a huge pizza like the one I just made. So we're not going to, oh, it smells so good, my goodness. So we switch that off guys. And before anything else, I wanted to, I've seen people maybe when they're making their pizza, they go in with their chicken roll. No, 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 don't do that. Again, remember because of the bacteria. And again, the pizza will not be in there for long will not be the heat for long. So the chicken might not be exposed to the right amount of heat that is needed to kill any bacteria in it. So you first, it's advisable that you first pre-cook your chicken. A little bit, then add it as a topping, but first make sure it's pre-cooked. If you don't want to pre-cook it, you can, to pre-cook it, I mean you can always um, boil it for a little bit, just a little bit. Or you can even sweat it with butter, however you like it, but please, be watchful of that. Don't add it when it's raw. You can always do bacon, mushroom, that is fine. But as for the chicken, be extra cautious with that. So, so far, I'm liking what you're doing. And before we continue with the next process, because we are almost done, guys, with the pizza, as you can see, the sauce is done. We're just going now to do the chicken, then the toppings, and our pizza goes on to the oven. So, before that, as always, I want to read the verse of the day before we finish with all this. Then we're going to be discussing about the verse in the next air uh, after taking a, a short break in the next few minutes. So right now, my Bible here is here today. I came with my Bible. I did not come with a phone. It's wisdom to always have your Bible with you. So today we are going to be reading in the book of Romans, Romans chapter 6. And uh, verse 23, I'm sure by now most of you can, can already read it out, whatever I'm going to read. And because it's a verse that we all like using, for the, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. That is Romans chapter 6, verse 23. And the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life life in Christ our Lord. So hold on that thought, meditate upon that word as even as you are cooking, have that word running through your heart. Ask yourself, what do you understand by the word? So ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to waste time. Before we get to that verse, we are going to start with our chicken. So now we are doing our chicken as I was saying and uh, we need to just fry it for a little bit, just to make sure that uh, it attains the right amount of uh, heat needed in it. So we just sweat it. No, we're going to saute it. So I, I believe, sorry, sweating means cooking at a low temperature with a liquid or maybe the, the oil, the butter and everything. Saute is on high heat with the liquid. So we're going to saute our chicken. Saute, what we look for most of the time is the, the crust part of it maybe. So right now, 
and we will be sauteing our chicken with some just a little bit of garlic just to give it flavor so that when you taste the pizza you'll 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 you know you can feel all the flavors at one in your mouth so right now give it some time i need it to be quite hot 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 i'm going to be using my yeah that's better now so in goes just a little bit of garlic a little bit just a little bit don't forget you have quite a lot in your sauce so a little bit of garlic okay then the chicken goes in all at once I will be sweating it for quite some few minutes just to make sure that it has attained the quite right amount of heat needed in the chicken. So it's, um, it's boneless chicken, remember it's tender, so it can break out, but don't worry, you also get to get all that into the pizza. And now, just make sure it's seasoned a little bit, seasoning. So as we're sweating the chicken, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start by eating our oven. So we're going to switch on our oven, set it at, uh, we, can, we can do 180 for 10 minutes. So we preheat our oven at 100 degrees for 10 minutes. So our is set, it has started preheating already. We're waiting for this chicken to dry quite a little bit. We need it a little bit dried. We don't need all this water in our pizza, guys. So it has some garlic, just as we added in our sauce. The reason to why we are first pre-cooking our chicken is because of salmonella, a very deadly bacteria. You don't want to go all in with your chicken without first pre-cooking it because it might not attain the right temperature of heat in the oven while making the pizza because it's only going to bake for eight minutes. So that might not be enough time for it to cook and you might end up consuming your chicken roux. So ladies and gentlemen, if you love pizza with chicken, you also have to be extra cautious with it. So, we were talking about the word of God. And as we are meditating about it, I would like to maybe give my own little understanding when it comes to the word. Uh, which is Romans chapter 6, verse 23, when the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So my very first question, because I've always heard about this verse, my very first question that now when I started reading it with understanding, remember prior to this episode we spoke about understanding, right? When now the understanding was opened to me, I asked myself a question. Because I've heard this verse before and I take it from the first, a few words that when it says that the wages of sin is dead. So most of the time we all end up stopping there and knowing that uh, at the end of the day, if you are a sinner, you'll die at the end of the day and there'll be no eternal life for you. But I went deep and asked myself a question, but the gift of God is eternal life. So my question to myself was, 
What is the gift of God? What is that gift of God? What is the gift of God? That is the part that got me. So with understanding, I got to understand that the gift of God to us as human is salvation. What is salvation? Salvation was bought unto for us, unto the world by Jesus Christ, whereby he shed his only blood, a man that was pure before God and before man. He had no sin, but yet he was willing to die for all of us for the sake of our salvation. So that is one gift that no one should take for granted. I know we are all used to the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Yes, that is something that helps us to walk our salvation journey on a daily basis because salvation is never arrived to. On a daily basis, we, we keep pushing ourselves, we keep striving to live according to the gifts and also the fruits of the Holy Spirit. But now we have one most important gift that God gave us, and that is His Son to die for us. And when you have Jesus Christ, you walk your path of salvation in accuracy and in all understanding. So you might be out there asking yourself, why is this woman bringing the Bible into cooking? No, it's because I know that God uh, is using this platform of mine to reach out to people out there and I will not sit back and maybe just come and cook for you guys and show you maybe how to make something without giving you that, um, that part of the show and that is the word. So today I was just, part, uh, uh, it sat in my heart that most of the time, we do not understand that gift. We do not understand that gift. Because if we understand that gift, and that is Jesus Christ, if you can just sit down and see, even after everything else, it still calls us back to his, himself and says that I have forgiven you that your sins, I'll never remember them no more. Like, he's a, he's a, he's a being that is not, is not like any other. Because even after death, I believe if it was a human being that I've done all that for you, if for you not to, to be willing to come back to, to the salvation and everything, that should be up to you. But on a daily basis, we are reminded that Jesus Christ wants us to himself. So it's not about what we are doing. It's not about who you are. It's about the willingness of accepting the gift, and that is Jesus Christ. So hold on that thought before we conclude to the last part. My chicken is ready. It's quite ready and I almost burnt it, but I will, God will not allow me to burn it because I was talking about his work. So I don't need the fire for now. So I'm going to transfer it to my plate here. It's still so moist. It's not overcooked. Don't overcook yours so that it will not dry up when you send it to the oven. Hmm. Smells nice. So, there we go. We have our chicken now. We have our sauce. Oh, we have everything we need right about this moment. We have our sauce and we have our toppings, right? So, we have to check on our bread. That is the dough and let's see, let's see how it's faring on. Hmm. It smells, it smells ready. It looks ready already. Mm -hmm. And remember, we are preheating our oven. Still preheating. So right now, we are going to start with the very first thing, and that is our sauce. Yes? Remember? spread it all over so after the after the bread the dough that is the next thing is the sauce with all the ingredients if you're joining us right now we are doing pizza ladies and gentlemen we are doing pizza and it has a lot of toppings in it and as I'm doing this because I've shown you what I'm doing after the bread I like to take my short short break then come back in a few. Then we'll continue with this. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the House of Paula with me, Chef Paula, here on Spirit TV. And 
We had gone for a short break because we were making pizza and uh, our sauce is what we were doing now. We were doing the spreading. As you've heard, that is an, a bell indicating that our oven is already ready. It's preheated with the right temperature that we need. Now, after my, let me continue with my toppings, okay? So after my, my sauce, I want to go in with some cheese because remember I want it to be to be rich I I don't like uh, topping my my pizza with the cheese as the last thing I like it at the at the bottom and also on the top so right now goes in there that's why I said I've got a lot of pizza uh, the mozzarella cheese You can, you can be generous as much as you want, but I, I know there are people who, you know, want to keep fit. They don't want to eat too much fat. Okay, for me at the moment, I feel like misbehaving and indulging the lot of this. So that is enough for now. For now. Mark my words. For now. And then in goes our mushroom, of course. Mm-hmm. Mushrooms, we did not cook them. You can saute your mushrooms if you want. Uh, in this case, I want to go in with mine like that. Because again, mushrooms should not be overcooked. At most, you should have them in the kitchen cooking for three minutes at least. So I don't want to overcook mine because you're still going to bake everything in the oven. And as you can see, my mushroom is quite a lot. So I'm going to spare some for later. I'll be doing something them just for later because I said earlier that my my toppings are overboard so right now we are doing most of the toppings we're doing the things that are raw the bacon guys again also bacon is not something to cook for a long time oh my god if I was selling this pizza eh, I would be a rich woman because it has a lot of ingredients going on, a lot of flavor, but it's allowed it in your house, right? You can always treat yourself. You can always treat yourself. Feel free, feel free to treat yourself. So the bacon goes in. Remember we started with the sauce. Then we went for the mozzarella, that is the cheese. After the cheese, we did the mushroom that is starting up with the raw ingredients. And right now we are going to go in with the chicken, of course. I'm using my hands to top it. It's quite a lot, my God. This is a, hey, a giant pizza. It's, it's quite a lot of toppings. With one bite of this. So this is a gift <laughs> of Chef Paula for House of Paula, you know. Just as uh, God gave us a gift and that is Jesus Christ. So this is my gift to you, also my viewer. And also for the people who are going to be eating this behind the scene. It's a very... Giant pizza full of toppings and uh, full of flavors. It looks ready as I can see here. It looks like uh, I can already have a bite of it. Remember, I said I'm going to spare a bit of that. And now, my, my, my vegetable part. That is now the green pepper bell. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It already looks nice. It's not ready yet, but uh, trust me, it's beautiful. Very, very beautiful. So, don't want, uh huh. So, ladies and gentlemen, the last part, the last part now, the final topping. 
eat the mozzarella again and it is raining a rain of cheese if you like cheese you're welcome to come look for us at our studios of course and you can be a taster of such goodness such yumminess in one bite huh? so here at house of polar we normally do our recording at our studios that is spirit tv studios please leave a comment share like subscribe on our channels that is house of polar or spirit tv all over the social media platforms and you can be part of uh, the amazing people who get to to taste all this goodness and i wasn't joking yes i wasn't joking when i meant that uh, all the pizza was going to have nothing else but cheese i love my pizza with a lot of cheese so right now we are going to drop this for about eight to ten minutes in the oven as you're aware it's already hot very hot as you can see and in goes my pizza to the oven so we are going to give it um roughly eight to ten minutes so as you can see it's quite heavy very very heavy and uh, there we go set our time and we are good to go so as we are waiting for our pizza to get ready we can start cleaning our surface because we are about to get down with this thing with eating of course so ladies and gentlemen again i would like to emphasize on today's word please meditate upon it meditate upon each and every gift that you see that our god in heaven graciously granted unto us and that is jesus christ i mean we we tend to to outlook all the things that um, we, we are given by God in heaven. Most of them we take some for granted, some we don't believe in them, and some we think that uh, it's just a thing that, uh, anyways, I'll just do it and do it. But again, see, look at it in a bigger picture, in the bigger perspective of this, this being that gave himself for me. Yet every day I make mistake. I see, yes. By the way, thank you, Holy Spirit. I've been reminded because of that scripture. The, the scripture begins as the wages of sin is death. But it does not end there. Meaning that it, it, sin is not all that there is to life. That even you being sinful, you can always cross to the other side. And that the side of eternity. And that is the gift. So if the, the scripture was ending there that the wages of sin is dead, that will prove to us that after sin, there's nothing else that uh, I should do. But remember, it does not end there. Still, God is willing to give us something more after even we've sinned. After also we've gone out all the way out of his will, after we've done all those things, God still is willing to bring us back into his goodness, even after giving us the gift of his son, and that is Jesus Christ. Is still willing to give us another chance and that is to change our lifestyle to change the way we perceive things to change the way we do things and to change the way that we treat jesus because most of us have become um so comfortable in who we are that i will sin today and tomorrow i'll be forgiven no just because there's grace to forgiveness doesn't mean that you should take advantage of the of the moment and the chance that you're given by god you never know tomorrow might, might be too late for you might be too late for me. All we need to do is in one accord, in one unity, in one spirit. And that is, of course, the spirit of God in heaven. We should always work on a daily basis to better ourselves, to prove to God that we are worthy of the gift of his son, Jesus Christ. Okay, so welcome back, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Girl boy, welcome back to the house of Paula, of course, with our pizza. Right now, our pizza is ready. It's ready, it's ready, it's ready. My God, it's 
so it's heavy it's very heavy but um i am i'm not complaining heaviness is good so as you can see our bread if you can hear that or if you can see that is dry very dry as we were looking for actually my pizza is very heavy i don't think it can be lifted from this tray for now but i'm just going to make a small slice mm -hmm. and we're going to take it out and there you go oh la la if you can see the cheeseness who does not like that who doesn't i mean who shouldn't like that so ladies and gentlemen here we go a slice a very tiny one a very tiny slice of pizza today we are not going to be displaying sorry we are not going to be displaying the the plating and everything because we're just eating from the pan as it is so i like the way it looks welcome the, the, oh, oh, I, I don't know how, how long should i be saying welcome welcome oh, in, in short i think you should just be sitting there when i'm talking but anyway it's about time i know you're, you're a fan of pizza yes so it's i think that's why god sent you here amen. to come and taste amen yeah, because i know you you by now you should tell the flavors just by the first bite mm. so maybe you should do us the honors and uh, do that piece justice Wow, thank you so much for having me as a tester of this show. <laughs> it's, it's a pleasure and it's a blessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. That is true, yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just wait, second round. Mm. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> is there a drink? Yeah. <laughs> yes, after this, there's a drink. Just make sure you, you, you can feel mm. all the flavors. Wow, wow, wow. That's a very rich, rich pizza. Mm. Pastor Mandy, thank you so much for coming. Mm. And as always, you know, I cannot pray when you're here. I'd like you to speak a word over my viewers' life mm. and also my life here as mm. House of Paula mm. as we come through. Thank You're you welcome. for having me again. Mm. Thank you so much. The reason why I've said instead of buying at Pizza Inn is because you have not limited the ingredients. Mm -hmm. You have not, it's so rich. You know, sometimes you buy pizza and you find that chicken is there. Mm. And Macon is Macon is Macon becomes a lot, and then the this meat is called Macon bacon. Yeah, yeah, yes, the, the bacon yeah. Is, yes. It's it's also there are many, but the chicken is different because me I don't like I don't like pizza that has a lot of red meat. I love I love the chicken mm -hmm. one. So let us pray. Mm -hmm. Our Father and our God, we want to say thank you and we want to say blessed be your name. Father, we thank you for the house of Paula. Father, we thank you even for, for enabling her to be here where she is, O oh Jehovah God. And Father, in this season of her becoming Jehovah my Father, I pray King of glory that by your spirit you will enable her, by your spirit you will quicken her King of glory. Father, you have said in your word that men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from your mouth, O oh God. Father, even as she teaches people how to cooking of glory she will also share your bread which is the word of god my father father we pray for our viewers wherever they are watching us from father we speak a blessing upon them we speak a blessing upon their family king of glory and father we pray for the house of paula my father father we pray that you will but Jehovah God, you've said, King of glory, that we should ask you for the nation. Father, we are asking you for the nation on behalf of the of house of Paula, my father. Father, in your own ways, oh God, I know you will, make, you, will, you will accomplish it because this is your doing and this is your will, my father. Father, at the end, oh God, it's not about cooking, oh God. It's about the kingdom, oh God, showing people the kingdom is, is not all about church and Sunday, oh God. That the kingdom is about cooking, is about everything that we do in our daily life my father and father therefore we we surrender the house of Paula before you and we ask king of glory open the floodgates of heaven let it rain in the house of blood we pray we pray for Paula we pray for wisdom we pray for knowledge we pray for the revelation of your word father we pray that king of glory that she will not miss that which is current with your spirit even as she cooks in this show my father she will not miss it my father That's what we are praying this afternoon oh god that you quicken her that you this evening king of glory that 
that you will quicken her mortal body by your spirit. Quicken her by your spirit, my father. Even as she cooks king of glory, I pray that she will be like sons of Issachar who discern the times and the season. That she will discern the time to what to cook and the, what to cook and what to, to, to tell the viewers, my father, for the glory and honor of your name, O king of glory. May she be invisible in this show that will be visible, king of glory. Father, may every may, well, may everyone that watches this show, oh God, may they see your glory and your power and your majesty, oh God, because not God, it's not all about us, it's about you, it's all about you, oh God. We are just, we are just vessels, oh God, to be used of you. And therefore, Lord, we speak a blessing upon this show, we speak a blessing uh, upon the media team, upon the sound team, we speak a blessing to every person that made this show possible. Father, we speak a blessing to the father of this home, John C.W., Bishop John C.W., and Mom Eva C.W., for giving, for giving her this opportunity and this privilege, my father. We speak a blessing upon them, and we pray, Jehovah, my father, to preserve them for the glory and honor of your name. May you be exalted, O God, and may you be magnified. And even in this house of Paula, O God, I pray that you make for yourself a great name. Amen. Make for yourself a great name this show. How you want to do it, God, do it. It is up to you. We give you praise and we give you glory. For it is in Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen, amen and amen. 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 Oh my God. Pastor Mandy is a warlock. Oh my God. I almost <laughs> forgot I was about joining her. Eh? The plane was about to take We off. didn't want to recabaya. Yeah? So, yeah, I know. <laughs> so thank you so much, Pastor yeah, Mandy, for thank coming. Thank you for having and me. And thank you to you, our viewer, for staying tuned. Yeah. We thank God for you. We bless the Lord in heaven for you. Mm. Thank you even for taking your time to sit there, to mm. watch us, mm. to listen to us, mm. and maybe to practice whatever we are doing yes here. because I'll, it will also make me happy if you partake the word of god and when also mm. you can be able to learn this also because knowledge is good to have knowledge yes so i bless the lord in heaven for you and at this point is um a point we all don't like and that is saying <laughs> goodbye mm. but for now that is the time that the spirit tv has granted unto us so until next time stay in the mercies of our lord jesus christ and remember the gift that God gave us. So ask yourself, am I worth the gift mm. that God gave us? Mm. So stay tuned. Until next time, we love you. We bless the Lord for you. And Amen. we speak blessing and blessing from Pastor Mandy mm. and me mm. to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.